Some people are having sex right now, others are kissing, some are hugging and here you are watching a video that talks about orgasms with a philosophical stance. This is the world of philosophy. You can take anything and dissect it and have a deeper look at it. Today we're going to dissect orgasms with the help of Schopenhauer. All right, man, let me quickly set you down a path to understand this whole thing about what the German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer is saying about orgasms. I'm going to explain a few things very quickly, like 0 to 100 in a few seconds for the sake of you to easily understand this mind blowing concept that Schopenhauer has on sex. And then sometime in the near future, I will make more videos on Schopenhauer's philosophy where I will explain his thoughts uh, much deeper. Schopenhauer believed that people were irrational and that they were guided by their own selfish desires. He claims that everyone has this thing called the will to life within them, which is an unconscious force within every individual that helped them cling to existence while staying away from any forms of reasoning or logic. It's an irrational force. The will pervades everything, it's the driving force behind us. We do almost everything we do because of the will. A seed becomes a plant because of the will. A bear will jump up at you because of the will. The will is an irrational, blind, incessant impulse without knowledge that drives instinctive behaviors causing an endless, unquenchable strive in human existence which nature could not exist without. Of course, it is important that you remember that the will to live is considered to be a a very basic human drive and that it is not the main driving force. Now that we have explained what the will to live is, we can move on and channel our will to live. To really get to the main point, we'll start with a sexy quote from Schopenhauer that is quite um, absurd. He says, directly after copulation, the devil's laughter is heard. In other words, uh, what he means is that after we have sex, we enter a refractory period and this refractory period is a period of time which an organ or cell is in, incapable of uh, repeating a particular action or more precisely, the amount of time it takes for an excitable membrane to be ready for a second stimulus once it returns to its resting state following an excitation. Now let us get a bit surgical here and make it simpler to understand understand. Now let us assume that you are a man or a woman. You desire to have sex. You have sex. Uh, you eye roll. You orgasm. You reach climax. You finish. Your desires have been accomplished. You feel the meaninglessness of it all while you stare at something, your eyes gazed upon something and maybe you're still getting thrusted by the will of life that is still alive within another person and now the devil is laughing within you. You get it now, huh? Of course you get it, you smirking smarty pants. A lot of us, we enter this moment of clarity during and after busting a nut. We come to realize that we are actually slaves to our sexual urges. After our will to life pushes us to have sex and once we have accomplished the act of sex performed in a sport, accomplished our desires, we are then caught in the thoughts of inherent meaninglessness, staring at the ceiling, thinking what was all that for, what did I receive in the long run? The universe existed before us, it will exist after us, we are inherently useless. Oh. Yeah. Schopenhauer called the post-orgasm moment of clarity as the devil's laughter because it is when we realize that we are slaves to a biological imperative that is uncaring of our happiness. According to him, we are all slaves to the will of life. And that pretty much sums up today's video. Man Schopenhauer is a really interesting philosopher and hopefully I will explain more of him in the near future. In the meanwhile, if you like philosophy or if you are interested in learning about it, the different ideas of different philosophers, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm pretty new here, so if I need any improvement in my videos, then do let me know. Also, follow me on Instagram, link in the description. And please don't let this concept mess up sex for you. I will, I will explain how to avoid this uh, situation in some other video. All right, man. See you guys soon.